Mathematicians, today we're going to do one of my favorite math activities, counting collections. To do a counting collection, you'll need some paper and something to write with. Um, if you don't have something to write with or paper at home, on the next page you can actually record your thinking um, on the Google slide itself, so don't worry. But if you want to use paper, go grab a piece. It, doesn't, it can be scrap paper as well. And you'll need something to count. So I grabbed some beans because I went into my kitchen and I found an open bag of beans. Um, I could have also, you can also, have, if you have a um, bag of pasta lying around, you can use that like I do. Um, if you don't want to use food because you're going to eat it later and you want it to stay clean, then maybe you can look around and you might have something like this, like I do at home, like a bunch of stamps. A stamp collection or maybe you're the kind of person who has a Pokemon card collection you could count anything that you have at home that's a group of objects go ahead and grab something to count once you do that you're going to count your collection two times because you want to make sure that it's accurate so um, before I do that I'm gonna write down what I'm counting so the item I'm counting are beans and now I'm gonna go ahead and count. Two, I'm gonna count by twos the first time. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, oops, 30, 32. Okay, it's an even number, no leftovers. So I'm going to write this number 32 up here. I'm not going to write it in my total yet because I'm not sure. I want to double check. This time I'm going to count by fours because, um, you know, we're practicing multiplication. So I want to practice counting with different uh, equal, group, equal groups. Four, eight, twelve, 16, 20, 24, 28, and 32. Okay, I double checked. My counting collection of beans has 32 items in total, 32 beans. So now I'm gonna need to go ahead and show or represent how I count it because I can't glue my beans to the paper, can I? So I'm going, well, I guess you could take a picture, but I'm going to represent it. I have a choice. I can make a model with some dots to represent the beans, or I can just use four and write that eight times to show how I counted. I think I'm gonna do both. Here's one group of four, another 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 group of four, and finally my eighth group of four. And I'm gonna even write the number four down below to show that each set or each group has four objects inside of it. Now I'm ready to go ahead and write an addition equation for my accounting collection. So I'm going to go ahead and write four eight times. Four plus four plus four plus four plus four, plus four, plus four, plus four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is, we said, 32. And because we're third graders, I'm gonna also turn this into a multiplication equation. Now, I'm always thinking, is it four times eight or eight times four? Well, I know this is eight groups of four, so I'm gonna write my equation that way. Eight groups of four is 32. Similarly, I'm gonna write a sentence like that. Eight groups of four beans is 32 beans. So mathematicians, that's what you're gonna to do today. You're gonna to go find a collection, uh, count your collection two times, and then write an addition equation for the way you counted it, a multiplication equation, and a sentence that represents the work that you did. Uh, have a great time. Off you go.